It is a gorgeous, beautiful Minecraft morning. Uh, we are playing Momcraft, as you know. I can't tell, I'm in the ground. Yep. Ev has gone out to grab a little bit more iron. Uh, if you were with us last episode, you saw that we had some rather disastrous, uh, not quite prepared for going uh, swimming instances where I got to meet my very first round. Um, it was terrible. It was bad. And hey, good thing they can't break the surface. If you're just joining us now, you should go back and watch that. If you ever go, wow, how bad, you know, can it be? There you go, guys. Um, if you ever feel bad about how well you do in Minecraft, watch on my streams. You'll feel better about your choices, right? Right. You'll feel better uh, about your life choices. Well, thanks, sweetheart. I love. Without your support, I just couldn't go on. Uh, so at the moment, what we are I'm doing. I get the please. What we are doing is Evan is grabbing a little more iron so that we can be better prepared. I am grabbing a, a bit of wheat here from the garden. Um, I heard... Dang creepy cave noises. Yeah, creepy cave noises. I heard a random zombie noise, and I saw one get burnt up, like, just before we were going live while we were doing our sound check, but I haven't seen any others. But that doesn't mean I'm right. Like, there's a well, creeper right there across from us. And uh, I should probably deal with him soon. But at the moment, I just kind of want to finish getting this wheat done. Whether or not that's a profoundly stupid idea we'll probably find out shortly um i find usually if you leave mobs alone in video games you come to regret it but on the other hand Both the end of ends. yeah see i tend to find interman are the easiest things because just don't make eye contact but like i know it randomly it just chases you down that's a little different like i try not to leave those things out to just you know doing their thing. So we've got wheat, we've got sugar cane, we have basically just our little, you know, welcome you've begun farm. What we don't yet have is chickens for eggs and that is really kneecapping us on the whole pumpkin pie thing here uh, as a food source. So we will probably be keeping an eye out for chickens so we can make some pie. It seems like a very mom thing. Uh, we're gonna pop on up our hill here. And here is our, you know, little peaceful acres. It's we've got sheep, we've got cows. I think we need some chickens. I, I think. Oh, I, I run through the cave and it's flooding with lava. And Evan has found lava over on his screen. Good job, Evan. Way to uh, spice it up. Don't actually catch fire, son. That would be bad. Hey. While we were waiting for, well, the video to start, I've been listening to a book series called Iron Hearts. Ah, cool. Uh, let's see here. It's a pretty interesting book series on fanfiction.net. Alright, not sponsored. Evan just has lots of free time lately. I'm kidding. Evan has no free time lately. Uh, he helped build me a giant workshop. And art studio shit. Okay, well, I'm saying giant. Giant to me. Oh, there's a fat little bee. Those things are so cute. Don't hit them or else they'll turn evil. Well, to be fair, you, you know, most things like you tell you slap them, right? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat? A few things just don't like you at all? Ah. So I like know. Like the creepers, zombies, skeletons. True, those just don't like you at all. Good point. Or the illagers who immediately start shooting you in the face. Now, I have not seen an illager yet. So it's uh, Think of a, a... Basically, take the villager model and make them, well, look like they definitely need a suntan. Well, in my mind, most people could surely use a suntan. Um, ah, that's... Ah. Oh, ah? What's ah? Are you dead? Oh, I found a lava block in the middle of the freaking ground. Did you dig straight single... down? No. I know I saw some darn chickens out here. Evan's being caught by lava. I can't find a chicken. So. Oh, but I can break an ankle. Okay, we have sheep, we have cows. I know I saw chickens. 
I'm like slowly losing my mind that I can't find a chicken. I know I saw some. Uh, but basically, in Minecraft, um, unlike other games that are a little more realistic, in order to get a chicken in Minecraft, you can either take a chicken and try to lure it back slowly to your location, or you can just scoop up a bunch of eggs, smash them on the ground, and hope a couple chicks pop out. Um, now, I'm not saying that there's a right way and a wrong way here. I'm saying when a game gives me a mechanic that does not involve slow creeping for miles while convincing a chicken that a piece of straw in my hand is a delicious treat, I'm taking it. But hey, you win some, you lose some. Oh, 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 I see one, I see one. Hi. Here, little chicky. Here, chicky chick. I found a chicky. Let's see, what do they come after? Seeds? Oh, they seeds. come after seeds. Alright, let's see if I can... Maybe, I think I know where the house is from here. I can't believe I'm doing this. I would much rather prefer you just crap out an egg, okay? Come on, here, chick, chick. Here, chick, chick. Here, chicky, chick, 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 chick. Here, chicky, chicky. Chicky, chick, chicky. Chicky, chick, 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 chick. Here. She's oh, slowly I losing her I mind. Did, yes, mm. the egg. No, but it crapped out an egg. Chick, chick, chick. I mean, technically they don't crack out eggs, but really, when you, like, raise chickens for a while, you find out that the egg-making part is right next to the pooping part, and often you'll get both at the same time. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna get, like, blown up by a creeper while trying to convince a chicken to come live with me. I'm having oh, likely. Having to chicken parkour here. Okay, come on, come on. A little closer, a little closer, a little closer. Oh, I just turned Enderman. Okay, come here, chick, 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 chick. Whee! All right, come here. Yes, we have a chicken! Good to know. Uh, look, it's little things that amuse me. We, I got a chick, convince a chicken to come be a chicken. Also, here, I'm just gonna give you this because you were a good chicky. I'm sorry. Don't if my pickup broke. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't have any other chickies for you to be chicky mates with. Um, all right, I've got one egg. Let's let let let's see if I can get this. Mm. Trying to get the sheep out of the way so I don't like. Nope, I cracked an egg and said, "Okay, chicky, I will be out here tomorrow. You eat all of the stuff you possibly can. And you make me some friends. I am now facilitating just a whole orgy of like cows and sheep and whatever else." Whatever else come to mind. Literally whatever mm. else I can click on. Like Alright, we have baby everything. I'm putting that away now. I just didn't mean to like pull a crossbow on you guys. Sorry. I'm really doing <laughs> quite enough. And just add another torch there. Do the mine! Oh, hang on. Grab my bucket. I can't remember. Can I jump over things? No. That's right, people can't jump over fences either. No, the 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 shape and size of them it yep. the, takes up the place of a block and a slab on top. Is that what it is? What? Alright, if I remember though, what you can do is place a block oh my gosh, baby sheep are the cutest. If I know. Move sheep, move sheep, move sheep, move sheep, move sheep. Okay, come here, sheep. Jumping down the mine! Dun 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 dun! You know what? That's it. I have officially lost. Like, this is cute for a moment, and now it's like some sort of weird children of the corn thing. Do we really need. Ah! I think it might be time to thin the herd a little bit. Mostly because I can't get out. There's so many of them. Oh, I need to make buckets to milk things, don't I? Yes. I like how calm you are. Yes, Mom. You need to do the thing with the thing that you totally forgot exists. Mm. You're not wrong. Mm. Let's see if I remember how to do this. So if you put a block, then you can hop over a fence. Nope. I know I've done this before. I wonder if they've changed this. Derp, 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 derp. Shift. Nope, not shift. Is it control for sprint? Mm. Uh, control <laughs> and then W. There we go, did it. So yeah, if you put a block one away, you can use the block to jump over your fence. And uh, night is falling of. 
Are you already back to the mines? I'm still in there. Okay, I didn't know if you were returning or not. See, this is me trying to be, like, considerate and let you know, hey, man, if you're heading back this way, things are going to be between you and here. I have a ton of bread to go make now. Uh, we have even more livestock than we started out this morning with. So that's good. Uh, what we are doing right now, for those of you who have just joined us, is basically we are starting on a quest to restock and refuel kind of everything after... Resupply. Yeah, resupply. Because we had... We had an adventurous time last go round. Um, got to meet the drowned for the first time. That wasn't too bad. Uh, the things they did were pretty bad. Uh, they basically wiped us both out. Um, I was uh, not prepared. Being lucky, they don't have trident on. Otherwise, we would have been shot at. Yeah. So basically, it was sketchy at best. Uh, so what we're doing at the moment is I am doing a little farming to resupply up the house stuff. Well, Evan gets... Cool, I've got all that done. Well, Evan goes and grabs a little bit more ore to make us some better armor. And I think our next trip is actually going to be... So, we haven't really found a good ravine yet. And I think next we are going to go to the Nether. Which I have not seen yet. And that is either a great or a terrible idea. And I don't actually know which. Um, six days from now. Six days from now? Uh, nether update going to come out soon. Oh, so you want to wait till the nether update? I'm cool with that. Good to know. Yeah, and since, well, then I haven't seen the, well, I've seen the E3 conference about it. And I'm hyped up. And well, that yikes! No, nope, no nope burning! Was that, and yikes, no, no burning? Yes. Okay. Good rule in life. Don't I worry. was... I got stuck in between lava on an island. So I had to hopscotch my way out. Did it work? I'm still breathing. And the no... Me dead screen popped up. Uh, fair enough. I like that I'm still breathing is the benchmark here. Yep. To be fair, it's a pretty good benchmark. I still have not figured out how the cartography table works. For those of you who are, are wondering, here is essentially where we are. Our house is right here on this little divot uh, on the map. And it turns out if you foot basically go right behind the house, you end up out by this little island. Now, out on this tiny island down here, there's a buried treasure, well, a sunken treasure. And unfortunately, since we don't have water, water breathing potions, because we need blade rods, uh, our last attempt to go find a treasure, pretty terrible. And it ended with us drowning a lot. Yeah, like, we got great at the drowning portion. Not so great at the surviving potion. So our next plan is to gear up and get ready to go to the nether. Uh, need to make a couple buckets, harvest some lava, um... I was got an idea for a portal, and I think we should build a little nether portal-like temple? How does that sound? Already working on that. Oh, well, hell. G glad to know I thought of it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can throw together the buckets real quick for the lava. What do you think? One bucket or two? Uh, I have one bucket already. All right. Well, I don't, so I'm getting a bucket. I Yay. even the rattling bones would mean there's a cave nearby. I don't know where it is. Found it! Of course. Anything interesting in there? I can't tell. It's pitch black. Did you forget torches again? No. The rattling bone came in through. Alright, so if I remember right, when you cook clay, you get bricks. And that's... Yes. That is what I want, is a couple of bricks. And we're going to make something out of some bricks today. Um, Found a cave system. Cool. Mark it, and we'll Ray. go back and explore it. I have. Nice. Good job. Uh, 
and then something that's new or at least you know new since I started playing is now if you are looking at a furnace or a crafting table and there's a little book you click on the book and it shows you everything you can make there pretty the fact, useful yeah the fact that that did not exist for the longest time was something that you know annoyed the tar out of me about this game so the fact that it's there now makes me happy so we'll just get a little bit of that cooking up I'm pretty sure I have glass in one of these yep right there glass panes and glass glass ow ow I fell <laughs> well I uh don't have a first aid kit. So where are we building the nether portal? Temple room. Oh, I see you. Is that cave right there? Or are you just turning back home? Returning. Cool. And I got the room. Nice. It has to be... It has to be... The hidden room in the house. Ah, yeah, I haven't found that yet. I know there is one. I just haven't been looking because I figured I should find it on. Yeah, I did see a sign from your Aunt Meg, though. We take a step because you're standing on it. Hmm. Meg 2020. So, yep. That because right here. I figured that you tucked a room what? in here. I apparently found it. Oh, what did you think hmm meant? Meg was here. <laughs> room. Well. It wasn't finished. Well, I see that. We... So, where are we going to put the portal? Just in the middle, like, uh... Like, right here? Are we going to build a staircase down to it? This is going to be the first room, and it's going to go down. Got it. This pink it color like, is something else. Uh, it polished granite. Pretty much, I ran out of time for the first block. Yep. Nope, I figured that that was an awfully quiet, empty wall to be just sitting there. So, I had a hunch that you had plans. And if not, honestly, I was thinking about picking that way and adding a room anyway, so. You would have found this. If... if a mysterious room you would have found like huh it's a what's lot it? of pink it's kind of like you remember the 1950s those little old ladies that had like pink kit well you don't you weren't alive then but yeah no yeah like, i'm like uh what i wasn't alive so back then kitchens and bathrooms used to be decorated this color of like rose pink it was a huge thing back in like the 50s i'm hearing Gotta grab this coal because hey, if it's gonna be nice enough to give us random coal in our house, did your pick just break again? Good thing I made three of them. Wow, this is actually a lot of coal just to be hanging out in the house. I'm gonna temporarily throw a torch up because last thing I want is a creeper showing up in the basement. Yeah, it's just That's why this room is very lighted. Like, it's just rude to have the creeper just like show up in the basement. I remember my very, very first time playing Minecraft, like right after it came out. I had one square that wasn't lit by a torch. And sure enough, crap was spawning in the basement. But I didn't know that it was like that picky about lighting or how it worked yet. And I was just like, you know, minding my own business and then suddenly hiss. You're like, oh, son of a... Well, yeah, essentially. Well, I lopsided built that, but at least nothing can spawn there. You really, really, really like narrow, narrow corridors. Hey, it makes easy, and I found more coal. I'm glad you found more coal. 
But don't you get like a little, I don't know, squished in here? Look. Ah, uh, this is the staircase. I know, but like, it's me looking at your butt the whole video otherwise. Gotta make them too wide. Um, if you're going to make them too wide, then, uh, this side. That way it can line up with the staircase here. Alright, you go down, I'll go up. Ooh, I hear zombie noises. Yeah, probably a cave nearby. Or it might still be dark outside. Eh, coming daylight. Oh, I found uh, iron in the basement here too. Oh, that's useful. Always good to find something useful in your basement. Yeah, I'm getting random creeper creature noises. Probably the cave's new unique at the third piece. And the now 25 new songs for it. 25 new cave songs? Thank the new developer for that. No, I'm totally cool with that. And made them all creepy as hell. Cave, so cave songs should be creepy as hell though, right? I know, but still, there's a limit of creepiness that I will take. Ah, the creepier the better. You and I have very different aesthetics though, because... Oh! There goes my pick, again. There. I threw you one. Thank you, mate. Sorry for the other. No problem. I'll make me another pick. You go ahead and keep going. You for I forget. Uh, hmm. I like making them four blocks wide. That way I can make a staircase going down. Makes and sense. without the player, you know, whacking their head out every step. But that's half the fun. It also slows down players to ridiculous standard. I f keep forgetting about holding shift when I put things up. Eventually I'll remember these things. Alright, ironing gets our cookie again. I have a... Uh, 28 of them. I hear a villager. You hear a villager? It must be a wandering trader. Huh. I've never seen one. The villagers that spawn with two llamas. A villager who spawns with llamas. That sounds amazing. I know Zach would like it. Fair enough. Don't see me yet. It's day, so I'm gonna pop down real fast to the. Um... When it's nighttime, they throw up a visibility potion on themselves. Smart villager. Pretty smart, actually. All right, let me s grab the next egg and see if we can pop another baby chick out. Nope. Come here, little. Come here, chick. Oh, I've got a bucket with me. Let's milk some cows. Good to know. Also, um, I was thinking after today's round of uh, fun and games with livestock, it's probably about time to get some leather. I'm hearing. And uh, the only way to get leather, unfortunately, it's a lot of the animals. It is to uh, harvest some cows for some meat. So I think that's where we're going this afternoon. I found more iron for you. Cool. We'll pick it out real fast. I've already got some in one of the burners. Well, my um, inventory's full. Oh. 
All right, I'll go grab in just a sec. I want to do this before the sun sets. So, unfortunately, um, while in real life I eat very little meat, in video game you pretty. Th this is Minecraft, it. and uh, Minecraft has different rules. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna reduce mm -hmm. the cow population by half, I think. Mm -hmm. That made some breeding pairs. Yep. Okay. One. Well, and I've got some babies out. Ooh, two. God, I always feel so bad when I do this. Alright. No, no, no. Do not get between. Do not hide behind the baby. It's not a human shield. Three. Or, uh, animal shield in this case. I know. Well, no, I, I hit a cow and it went and hid behind the baby. Like, do not make me feel bad. Alright, so we've got four milks. Grabbing some wool. Grabbing all the wool from the adult sheep now, because we'll need that. Come here, Angel. There you go. There you go. Alright, we got a bunch of naked, not no longer fluffy sheep. A couple dead cows. We're gonna run down, grab a little wheat. That's done. Have the cows that are still there. Make me some new cows. Because I think it's probably time... We're gonna want an enchanting table sooner rather than later, right? Yeah. And that means books, which means cows and paper. Luckily, and also lapis. And lap and lapis. We've got cows, we've got And diamonds, uh, obsidian. Yep, so yeah. Oh. So way, way back I played the super spellbound cave mod that Vex came out with. Um and that was my first adventure in enchanting. And uh, that was quite a... So you want to figure this out the hard way. Um, but we did pretty good. I think I actually ended up getting to the end of that one. Uh, but yeah, that was my first intro to Minecraft mods as well. Because don't do anything the easy way, right? Alright, so we out of all of that slaughter, we got four hides... Five steaks and a fat little bumblebee. Hi, fat little bumblebee. Mm. Mm. Getting all the cows. The egg. All right, cows and sheep and eggs. Oh my. Mm. It is just, you know, adventures and how to mess up a farm out here. Actually, the farming's doing fine. I'm just having terrible luck getting baby chickens out of eggs. Which, to be fair, in the real world, you don't just, like, dunk an egg on the ground and be like, Shazam, there's a chicken. I didn't expect Maggie to, well... Figure out no. where your hidden room was? Yeah! Oh, sweetie, sweetie. I thought, okay, there's a blank wall here. I'll make it look like uh, something would go here. Yeah, but it's a blank wall. I mean, what else are you uh, going to do with a blank wall? Uh, this side also a blank wall. Yeah, but you've got all this stuff in the middle. Alright, throwing in some beef for steaks. Leather. How many leather make a book? Three? Three leather and three paper. Right. I think. I think we have a book. Let me take a look here. Oh, one piece of leather, three paper. You can do it in your character's inventory. Yep. Okay. 
so we got have our first three books and I think that gets us one bookshelf one two three when the woods in seriously we have wood in one of these right this one ah got it uh you want oak yeah let's do an oak bookshelf um it doesn't matter they haven't updated the bookshelves yet oh so d you don't see the wood texture anyways it's just generic oak all right we have our first of many so where do we want the enchanting table we can put it down to the letter in the nether in the nether temple. Make this all our little sorcery area? Yeah. Alright, I'll tell you what. How about we put that on this side? Since you're putting the nether temple down there, let's put the enchanting temple over here. Yeah, and then some iron for you. Alright. I see the coal. And then lapis, lots of lapis. Good thing I brought like 59 of them from the mine. Sorry for that. That's all right. Just trying to clear out. Yep, yep. And there we go. Oh. Finally got too short. Oh, it is outright hot today. I know, I know. Like it's summer, of course it's hot, but it is like uncomfortably hot right now. Which I grew up in California, so complaining about the heat is not something we I normally do. But this is like Icky, sweaty, gross, humid heat, and like, I My like... My broke again. I think we might need to upgrade you to Diamond 1 sooner rather than later. I like living in the Midwest. There's a lot of great things, but humidity kind of sucks. And by humidity kind of sucks, I mean humidity really sucks, people. So let's see, what was the optimum for a crafting table? 9x9 nine nine with the uh, enchanting table in the middle? Yeah, uh, hang on, let me check the recipes. I hear Mr. Rattly Bones out here. Oh, we can make a cauldron. Nice. We can bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble? Yep. Now, uh, hang on. And just wind this up a little bit. Let me see. Here. Checking through to see I can. Okay, we have One, diamonds two, now. Three, four. Pop the room right in this corner here. Four, five. Um, I spend a lot of time playing Minecraft, basically counting like it's preschool. Hey. I figure we'll make sort of a library space. Well, we're we going to delve into the realm of evil with the magic and such yeah well just you know library we can get the um, burner and the alchemy equipment in here just try to make it a one stop shop for all things weird and sorceress One, two, three, four. And, and depending on how many bookshelves are nearby the enchantment table, will mm -hmm. it will change the enchantment greatly. Yep, I remember. And that. how potent it is. Yep. I 
if I remember right, it had to be within so many blocks, and that's why I'm doing it this way. So basically, I'm going to make a cube of bookshelves. One block away, eight the for all the short range one. Two blocks away, if from the enchantment table for slightly stronger ones. Three blocks away for the strongest spells. Okay. So I think this is essentially going to be my enchantment cubby. I'm going to have to kill a lot of cows. Good thing I made a farm. Well, I... N. Yep. Alright, so I think bookshelf one... Plus we can do bookshelves on the floor as our floor to stand on. Uh, no, that doesn't work. It doesn't work anymore? Well, the enchantment table doesn't react to them. Okay, so they have to be... Standing oh, upright. Exactly. Okay, so there's our very first bookshelf. Wow, I don't think they changed that at all. Nope. Yeah. Still the same old, same old. Alright. First cow dead, enchanting room begun. That feels... Yep. Oh, we have a bunch of stairs to make in place. That is always so thrilling. Um, oh, I see the iron. Um, but I think we're probably at a place to take a. We have a bunch more iron, iron inside the room in here. All right, I think we're at a place to take a quick break, uh, grab a drink, and be back in a couple minutes. So come join us, and we hope we'll see you back uh, on our next exciting adventures with Minecraft. Yep. See you soon.